In this video, we're going to look at the concept of ability formula mass or molar mass of a substance and how to calculate percentage by mass of an element in a compound. Okay, now after going through this video, you'll be able to do these basic calculations in chemistry involving molar mass or ability formula mass. All right, so ensure you stay to the very end of this video because this is a very important calculated aspect of chemistry. All right, having done that, let's go into the details of the video. Okay. Now let's begin with relative formula mass. All right, so we're looking at relative formula mass. Okay, now note again that relative formula mass is also called molar mass. All right, and its unit is gram per mole, or another way can write it is gram per mole okay so either one we want work having known this let's look at a typical example for this all right let's look at how to calculate the molar mass or relative formula mass of a compound now let's say we are giving this compound magnesium chloride we right? have to find the relative formula mass of magnesium chloride or molar mass of magnesium chloride and note that in the equation you are often given the relative atomic mass of the element that make up the compound okay and uh, we are given the relative atomic mass of magnesium to be 24 and we have that of chlorine to be 35.5 okay so now that we have the relative atomic mass of these elements respectively we can now go ahead and find the relative formula mass or the molar mass of this compound we have magnesium chloride okay now note that you have to know the relative atomic mass of elements all right it's very, very simple relative atomic mass is the same thing as mass number all right for instance let's say this is carbon atom this is atomic number this is a mass number that's 12. so relative atomic mass is something as mass number all you have to do in most cases is to multiply the atomic number by two all right and you get the relative atomic mass or the mass number oftentimes when you do this you get the relative atomic mass or mass number so take note of this Okay, now to find the relative formula mass or molar mass of a compound, so all you have to do is to add up all the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the compound. All right, so for magnesium chloride, you're going to give us the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24. It's going to be 24, and we have one atom of magnesium here, so we will not multiply it by any number, just 24 plus the, that of chlorine is 35.5, Now we have two atoms of chlorine here. So it will be 24 plus 35.5 times 2. All right, so when you simplify this in a calculator, okay, you are going to have the output to be 95. Okay, so the unit of molar mass or uh, relative molar mass is gram per mole. All right, so this will be the answer to this question. Okay, it's as simple as that. Now, let's write this. Let's look at another example. Very, very interesting, guys. Okay, now let's look at that of this compound. Now, this is sulfuric acid. So we have H2SO4. And we are given the relative atomic mass of hydrogen to be 1, that of sulfur to be 32, and that of oxygen to be 16. Okay, now if we feel the pause this video and see if we can figure this out, we have to find the molar mass of this compound or the relative molar mass. Okay, let's do it together. Now it's going to be as usual. We are going to add the relative atomic masses of the atoms in this compound. So it will be we have two atoms of hydrogen here, and relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one. So it's going to give us two times one plus sulfur. We have one atom. That of sulfur here is 32 plus oxygen. We have four atoms of oxygen here. So, oxygen, relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16, so it will give up plus 16 
times 4. If you want to simplify this, you're going to have 2 plus 32 plus now 16 times 4. When you simplify it, you're going to have it to be 64. Okay, so when you add everything here, you are going to get the output to be 98. Okay, 98 gram per mole. Okay, you see they write it like this or write it like this 98 gram per mole. Okay, so that will answer to this question. Now, before we end this class, I'll show you guys how to can calculate the relative molar mass of the compound or the molar mass of the compound. Now, let's look at how to calculate the percentage by mass of an element in a compound, and after you can call it a glass. This aspect is also very important for chemistry. Let's write this. Okay, now for percentage by mass of an element, this is a formula you have to apply. All right, so percentage of mass of an element, this is a formula applied for it in a compound, All right, equals the relative atomic mass of the element times the number of atoms to so number of atoms of that element okay times 100 over 1 this one is all over the relative formula mass or the molar mass of the compound relative formula mass of compound of the compound okay guys this is very important now let's look at a typical example Let's look at this question. Let me bring the question. Okay, guys, let's look at this question. A typical example it says find the percentage mass of sodium and sodium carbonate. This is the formula we are going to apply. So the percentage mass of sodium we're going to apply this formula of let's see this question given the relative atomic mass of the elements to be sodium. We have sodium to be 23, we have carbon to be 12, and we have oxygen to be 16. Firstly, let's get the molar mass or elite molar mass of the compound solid carbonate. So it will be we have two atoms of sodium, it will be 23 times 2 plus that of carbon is one atom plus 12 plus oxygen is three atoms, that's 16 times 3. So when you simplify this, you're going to have it to be 23 times 2 will give us 46 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 is going to give us 48 so when you add everything together it's going to give you 106 gram per mole all right now when you apply it to this formula you're going to have since it's the relative atomic mass of the element and the number of atoms so the relative atomic mass of the elements you are looking for is 23 that's sodium and sodium here has two atoms it should be 23 times 2 over 106 gram per mole times 100 over 1. Now let me punch everything together in my calculator and see what it's going to give me. Okay, so I have the output to the 43.3. Now you keep having recurring coming this here. Now if I want to be the nearest whole number, this will give us 43 percent. And that will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. Okay, guys, let's call it a class here. I hope you learned something interesting from this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, ensure you check the description of this video below. You see a link to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join the Telegram channel for instant notifications. Also, ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions as regarding this, so I'll be free to be Christian in the comment section below. I'll be sure to give you a response. Now click on the end screen above and I will see you in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.